Please subscribe and ring the bell button to be always notified whenever we upload more interesting videos. Raw sweet potatoes are actually not very sweet on their own. They contain an enzyme called beta amylase. This enzyme breaks down the starch in the potato and turns it into sugar. When the sweet potato is cooked, the higher temperature speeds up the enzyme resulting in the sweet potato's sweetness. In AD 1196, Al-Aziz Uthman, Saladin's son and the Sultan of Egypt, attempted to demolish the pyramids. They first started demolishing the Pyramid of Menkor. The Pyramid of Menkor is the smallest of the three main pyramids of Giza. Workmen recruited for the job worked for eight months, but at the end they found out that to destroy it was almost as expensive as to build it. Let's say that they could only remove a stone or two a day. The traditional Japanese cuisine is known as washiku. In 2013, washiku became one of only a handful of cuisines to be recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage. You should know that Japan takes its food seriously. In fact, until 2013, Foreign chefs were legally barred from working in restaurants which were specialized in traditional Japanese food. For example, an Italian chef was allowed to work in an Italian restaurant in Japan, but not in a sushi restaurant. However, after winning UNESCO designation Japan changed its regulations for foreign chefs. The highest structure ever built was actually a radio transmitter in Poland. Alas was the name of the Warsaw radio mast which is now rusting rubble. The heavenward spire bent down by human error. The catastrophe occurred on August 8, 1991, when during maintenance, on exchanging guy wires during some lofty wind, cables started snapping off and the whole thing bent in two and suddenly the tower that once stood so tall was twisted metal in the earth. No other structure exceeded the height of the collapsed Warsaw radio tower until the Burj Khalifa was completed in Dubai nearly two decades later. During the First World War, the British Ministry of Food introduced the Bread Order in 1917. This regulation made it illegal to sell bread until 12 hours after it had been baked, because the government realized that stale bread was more nutritious and would be consumed 5% less than fresh bread. Many people were prosecuted for breaking the bread order during the war. The term vaccination comes from the Latin word for cow, vacca. The first vaccination was for smallpox, and people were given cowpox to prevent them from getting smallpox. The term now refers to any immunizing procedure in which a vaccine is administered. When early telephones appeared in the 1870s, they were limited to communication between two users. Early telephones had no ringers and no hang-up hooks. Callers would get the attention of those they were calling by yelling loudly into the receiver until someone on the other end noticed. The telephone switchboard was a revolutionary instrument. Until the advent of Bell Electronic switch systems, in the 1960s, most of the calls were handled by a live human operator that would connect the call from the caller to the destination number through a plug switchboard. So, there was no ringing or busy tone, the operator would just say something like the destination number is not answering, after a few attempts. The name guillotine dates to the 1790s and the French Revolution, but similar execution machines had already been in existence for centuries. The guillotine is best known as a method of executing those condemned to death during the French Revolution. The guillotine remained the official method of execution in France until the death penalty was abolished in 1981. The last person was guillotined in 1977. 
In 1982, the mayor of Key West, Florida, announced the town's secession from the Union, immediately declared war against the U.S., quickly surrendered after one minute, and applied for $1 billion in foreign aid. The story goes that the Prime Minister, Mayor Wardlow, surrendered to a serviceman in town and then applied for $1 billion in foreign aid. This assistance never came but things soon returned to normal and the story made for great publicity for Key West. Muval Cave of Romania was discovered in the 1980s during sewer works. It was found that the cave had been sealed off from the rest of world for nearly 5 million years. Inside of it there is an ecosystem cut off from the rest of the world for millions of years. The cave discovered during excavations, is a veritable time capsule. Oxygen levels are low and there is a high concentration of methane gases and sulfur. Animal species found in this cave included albino crabs and worms among other similar creatures, which thrive on sulfur-reducing bacteria. The sludge is full of life. The Mobile Cave is a biological sensation. In this hellhole under the earth it has been discovered a thoroughly unique and thriving biotope. Nonetheless, this place is still hostile to human life. In 2013, a climber found a box full of rubies, sapphires, and emeralds on a remote glacier on Mont Blanc. Authorities believe the precious stones are likely to have come from the 1966 flight which had been en route from Mumbai to New York. The crash at the time killed 117 people, including the pioneer of India's nuclear program, Homi Jungir Babha. After the climber turned in the gems, the authorities took eight years attempting to locate the family of the original owners. When this was unsuccessful, the gems were divided between the climber and the local government of the place they were found. After being informed he would be given some of the jewels worth $169,000, the climber told that he did not regret having been honest, and that he would use some of the money to renovate his apartment. A woman in Pennsylvania needed a life-saving liver transplant, but she kept testing positive for alcohol, which prevented her from getting a transplant, despite swearing that she hadn't been drinking. The doctors were confused until it was surprisingly discovered that her body produced its own alcohol. The fermentation was taking place in her bladder. The microbes in her bladder were fermenting alcohol from the sugar in her urine. The alcohol didn't get from the bladder into the bloodstream, so the woman didn't appear intoxicated. The woman's condition was so rare that it didn't even have a name yet. Her doctors proposed calling it urinary autobrewery syndrome or bladder fermentation syndrome. Thankfully, the discovery of this unusual medical condition allowed the woman to be reconsidered for a liver transplant. Since 2004, the residents of La California, a town in Italy, have held farcical ballots for the United States presidential elections. Although votes cast by La California residents do not count, they still send the result of each election to the nearby U.S. consulate in Florence. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.